Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to begin my comments, opinions, and the results of WWE Raw, 3rd of October 2016. We kick off the show with Roman Reigns coming out to a mass amount of booze. No surprise there. Uh, he comes out and says about how his bloodline has dominated WWE for so long but no one's ever won the United States Championship until now because he's the guy and he's representing the family on a nightly basis. And yes, I did actually fact check this. Nobody in the Anawai family has actually held the United States Championship until Roman Reigns, which I th did actually surprise me, to be honest. I was expecting somebody to have held it and he was lying, but no. That's a fact that you've just learned right now. Don't say you've never learned anything. Uh, then Lana comes out to a, a load of chants saying, Thank you, Lana. It was quite good. Quite funny, to be fair. Uh, and then Lana says, Rusev doesn't know I'm out here. And Reigns is just like, Yeah, I don't believe that. And she's like, Rusev is challenging you to a rematch. And then Raymond's just standing there with a smirk on his face. It upsets Lana. And, she, and then he says, You need to relax. And he's like, Go to the back and get Rusev. And she's like, no, 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 go to hell, go to hell, go to hell. Then Rusev comes out. Reigns comes out the ring and meets him, and they have a brawl. They manage to get back in the ring. Rome, Rusev blocks the Superman punch. Reigns ducks a super kick, gets the uh, best of Rusev, and sends him outside the ring. Uh, Reigns goes for a Superman punch off the steps, but Rusev managed to get a kick over him. He sends him into the steps, and then... Rusev super kicks him over the barrier into the crowd, picks up the title on the stage, he drops the title and turns around to leave and then there's a massive Superman punch from Roman Reigns. And then he went, if you want me to go to hell, I'm taking both of you with me. You've got your rematch, but it's going to be in a hell in the cell match. Why did I go for Vince McMahon? I don't know, but why not? Uh, then we had a cruiserweight uh, match TJ Perkins versus Brian Kendrick. I do love the whole feel of the cruiserweight division at the minute. There's different lighting, ropes, ring aprons, little things on the mat. It's awesome. Um, Brian Kendrick managed to win with the captain's hook. It was a good match. Uh, then we had a sit down interview with Seth Rollins, and he said, regarding his rib injury, doctors advised him not to come to LA for Raw, but he is here. He said, Kevin Owens may have won the Universal title, but he never actually beat him. He was handed the title by Triple H. He said he deserves a rematch, especially after Clash of Champions. Uh, he said, Triple H really can't replace me with Kevin Owens. Uh, my eyes are wide open, I see things completely different. I'm going to tear the machine down piece by piece, starting with Owens. If I get my rematch, I'm going to cancel the Kevin Owens show and prove to the entire world that I am still the man you lost at Clash of after Clash of Champions but it's about the fact Jericho helped you still lost clean well kind of clean uh, then we had a Braun Strowman versus Chase Silver he's actually signed to NXT which uh, yeah he said I've just moved here from Idaho to Hollywood where dreams come true and I had a dream that I was going to beat up Braun Strowman yeah it's about as likely as me getting onto a unicorn and flying over to a chocolate mountain and eating the entire mountain, isn't it? Um, and then Braun Strowman won with a power slam. Uh, then Saxon entered the ring for comments after and said, what's next for you? And he says, uh, he's been given the gift of destructions, but his talent's been wasted on weak foes. Mick Foley, you best get me some real competition by next week or there might not be a next week. Nice to see him do a bit of a promo and finally knowing that the job is might be gone, thank God. Then we had a Bailey and Sasha backstage segment. Um, she wishes it was her going for the main event, but she can't think of anyone more deserving than Sasha Banks. Said it reminds her of Lita and Trish Stratus back from 2004. She's going to make, and Sasha said she's going to make history tonight when she dethrones a wannabe queen. And takes control of the division. Bailey does wish her good luck. Then we had Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens come out. Uh, and then it, uh, they said Michael Cole sucked in the interview. Uh, and then Owens said Rollins does not deserve a rematch. He lost. Um, and then Owens said to Jericho, 
if he does manage to weasel his way into a rematch, you should be special guest referee. He said, yeah, that's not a terrible idea, mate, but that's a bit short-sighted. Um, why don't we go after the we're a better tag team than Enzo and Cass? We should be going for the tag team championships after the New Day. And they've chan- started chanting, yes, yes, yes. And then Jericho's like, shut up. Quite funny. And no one says... Jerry K.O. does sound good as champions, but Sheamus and Cesaro already have their shot. Uh, they go back and forth trying to convince each, trying to convince him to do it. Uh, and Jericho's like, it's not like I was asking for a shot at your title. Uh, the fans did cheer for that, and then Owens is like, yeah, let's do it. New Day come out. Uh, and then Kofi's like, we're the best f- um, friends in the WWE. He gets put on the list. And then Big E did something to get on the list, and then Xavier Woods did something twice to get on the list. They were doing some jokes. Uh, Xavier Woods made a joke about Owens being fat. Um, and then, like, you can have a match with us, but you're going to have to wait because you are clearly not dressed to compete. Uh, and then we saw a video of Sheamus and Cesaro arriving in a car together, arguing... Then we had a match, Shane versus Titus O'Neil. Now, this is kind of annoying. Um, after the show, it's making me reflect on it. I was making a joke to my mate on Saturday saying they were pushing the Golden Truth, Tyler Breeze and Fandango and Titus O'Neil and Darren Young things before the balance bet and they just fell off the face of the earth. And then we had a Titus O'Neil match and we had the Golden Truth match. I know they both... Spoiler, they both got jobbed out, but still, they actually appeared on TV. God damn it, why when I make jokes do things actually happen? You know what, I'm going to become a millionaire. It's never happened, but it might happen. I swear to God. Um, yeah, Sami Zayn's won with the Huluva kick. Uh, then we had Mick Foley trying to fire them up and get them on the same page for the title shot with she- Sheamus and Cesaro. Then we had the Golden Truth versus a club. Surprise, surprise, the club won with the Magic Killer to R-Truth. And then Anderson kicked Gold Dust into a big boot from uh, from Gallows. And then Magic Killer to him after the match. They did a beat down on him. Uh, then we had Owens and Jericho walking backstage. And they bumped into Aston Kutcher and Danny Masterson. Um, and then... He threatened to put them on the list. Masterson takes the uh, clipboard and mocks the list. Reads three things off it. P- people who don't like scarves. People who call Jericho Paul Man's Bon Jovi. And his Fandango loss. They did have a bit more back and forth. And then they said we'll be at your match at ringside. They're not really ringside anymore. But yeah, it was quite a little fun thing. Uh, and then we had Enzo and Cass in the ring with three breast cancer survivors. God bless them women. Um, apparently they won a contest back in May and they were presented with custom title belts because they are true champions. It was just a nice heartwarming segment for everyone, helping promote the fight against breast cancer. With Enzo and Cass, so it makes it even better. Um, then we had the New Day versus Jericho and Owens match. Um, Seth did come out in the match. Um, Jericho got um, Kofi into the Lion Tamer, but Seth jumped up. Jericho let go. Kofi got a tag. Midnight hour to Jericho, and they picked up the win. Co- Jer- uh, Owens had already been taken out at this point, and then Seth got a pe- uh, Jericho into a pedigree. Stared down Owens that was just watching on while Aston Kutcher and Danny Masterson were saying if that was the other one in there would actually help, and then just watched him got a pedigree. So maybe they are going to go with the split soon enough, which would be nice because they really can't wait to see Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho. Then we had a Charlotte and Dana interview backstage. Uh, Charlotte said she's going to expose Shasha's shortcomings and make history tonight. And she's only in the main event because Charlotte is there. Then we had a Steph and uh, Seth and Stephanie backstage segment. Uh, Stephanie comes in and says, 
why you're here. You put yourself in danger. You're not medically cleared. Uh, and she says, you won't last long by yourself. You're replaceable just like everyone else, Seth. And he's like, you can't tell me what you can't tell me what to do anymore. Triple H, since Triple H turned on me, that was the second biggest mistake in his life, costing me the title. The first was marrying you, Stephanie. And I will burn down Raw if I don't get my title shot. It was a really good segment. It did make Stephanie look absolutely humiliated. So it was quite good her getting come up and swans. Then we had. Tony Nese versus Rich Swan, another great match. Uh, Tony Nese won with a pump handle driver. It was a good match. Then we had a Cesaro and Sheamus walking segment where they keep trying to get in front of each other. It's good they're exposing them. Uh, then we got a promo for Emma returning. I didn't actually see when. I just know there was one. Uh, then we had Sheamus and Cesaro versus Mark Carradin and. Royal White, I don't bloody know. Development and talent, basically, which is apparently what a lot of these people are. So, damn. Uh, they did the usual stuff they did last week. One did one move, one did the other. But the basic thing is, Shame has got a pro kick to one of them and won. Then we had Charlotte, Dane, and Bailey backstage. Uh, they come in and start mocking Bailey, saying, Sorry, I can't hear you, Bailey. I, t- I can't hear you over my title. It's too loud. I'm now going to go in main event. Uh, Dana stuck behind. She kind of started going, don't cry, don't cry. Tapped her on the head. Uh, and Bailey got wiped it off. Uh, Dana got her next to the wall. Bailey kind of pushed her off and slammed her into a crate, hurting her leg. I don't even know how. Because she went head into it, but whatever. Uh, nice to see that Dana got taken out. Bailey got some uh, measure of revenge, so it looked good. Then we had our main event. For the first time in 12 years, the women main evented a Raw. And we had one of the greatest results. <sighs> Sasha Banks won with the bank statement. And she is your new Raw Women's Champion. It was a feel good moment, and I'm hoping she doesn't get injured and she actually gets to hold it. So, Dana didn't lose at the pay per view, lost a week later. I Okay, go for it then. Uh, it was a really, really good war, especially after last week's pathetic, pathetic showing. It's absolutely stepped the game up this week. All of the segments were entertaining, I didn't feel bored. It was overall a good show. Can't really pick fault with much of it, to be honest. Apart from seeing the golden truth. God damn it, our truth. Piss off. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you later.